Hi, I'm Brian Hoke, Senior Technician here at Benson Systems. Uh, what I'd like to talk about now is fire sprinkler systems. This what we have right here is a typical installation of a fire, uh, fire sprinkler system in a commercial setting. It consists of the inlet. This is what we call a stub up. This is where the water comes in from the city main to your first shutoff valve. This, this valve here is your first isolation in case we have a problem with the system, we can actually shut the water coming into the system right here and we can stop anything inside the building. This is a backflow preventer right here. Uh, not all systems are uh, in, equipped with an installed backflow preventer. Um, this one just so happens to be. Uh, this is the second shutoff valve, which will isolate the entire backflow assembly for testing. As we travel up, Right here, we have what's called a main drain valve. This is where we actually do a functional flow test of the sprinkler system to determine our pressures. And where we get our pressures are on a series of gauges that are installed. The first gauge in line, this is what's coming in from the city main. This is how much water pressure uh, is coming into the building. The next one that's on top of the backflow preventer once the system is flowing, this is going to tell us what the pressure is as the system's flowing water. Uh, this, this one here actually does the same thing. It's uh, just a dual purpose uh, gauge. Um, this one happens to be equipped with a pressure relief valve uh, just in case the, uh, the pressure in the system exceeds 175 PSI. It will actually relieve itself uh, so we don't have any problems with the uh, sprinkler heads inside. Um, on an annual basis, uh, these things have to be inspected and tested. Uh, what we'll do is we'll test the, the interactions with the, the shutoff valves to the, fire, uh, the installed fire alarm panel uh, through these uh, tamper switches right here. This just gives an indication uh, if there's anything uh, anything that might be happening with the system, you know, unwanted tampering. This is going to tell us right here uh, if that's ha taking place and it'll send a signal to the fire alarm panel. When we're flowing the uh, fire sprinkler system, what we're going to do is we're going to take a reading on this upper gauge here to determine what the pressure is um, as the system's flowing. And we'll make sure that that uh, pressure is accurate or adequate and we'll bounce that against what's called the hydraulic calculation data, which is on the, on the riser itself, and it'll actually tell us what the pressure should be when the system is being flowed. Once we've done that, uh, we're going to go to what's called the inspection test valve, and it'll be on the opposite side of the building, um, inside, and it's a small orifice that will open up and we'll let that water flow. What it does, is it gives us um, what a standard single sprinkler head operation uh, would do. So we have what's called a, uh, a flow switch, which is located up here. Uh, that is set at a specific time rating, um, usually between the 40 and 50 second time range. Uh, once that sprinkler head opens up, that should trigger a signal to the flow switch, which will operate the fire alarm panel, which is gonna uh, put the system into alarm, telling us that we have a, uh, a fire hazard with a, uh, with a flow. And simultaneously, the local bell uh, that's located right outside this room uh, will also ring. So not only do we get a signal to the fire alarm panel, which goes to our monitoring company, to alert uh, the local fire department, but the local bell will also ring telling everybody uh, in the vicinity that uh, we have a fire. Last thing that we're gonna check is gonna be the, uh, the spare equipment. In this box, uh, we'll have a set of spare sprinkler heads that are designed for this building. And uh, that we'll have just a sampling, just in case that we have one that, uh, one that operates, we can replace it right away uh, once the hazard's over. Uh, we'll also have uh, the adequate uh, or appropriate code book, which is the NFPA 25, 
uh, which is the code for installed sprinkler systems. And along with the heads, we'll have a wrench. Uh, that way we can actually remove and reinstall the sprinkler head. Now, all of your installed systems, whether it be fire alarm, fire sprinkler, fire hydrant, kitchen suppression system, or, or any, any installed system, uh, they have to be checked a minimum of annually. And with that, each, each service that we perform, we will uh, provide a detailed report on the condition of the system that it presently is in, um, and if there's any follow-up work that needs to be done. Uh, and just to remember that all of these services need to be provided by a licensed and certified contractor, and Benson Systems is your one stop uh, for all your fire protection needs.